Welcome to Angling Buzz presented by Fleet Farm. I'm Troy Linder. Well, the 4th of July is just behind us right now. Many people, they're still up at their cabins and at resorts spending time with friends and family. This is a great time of year, not only for fishing, but to spend time together in the great outdoors, whether you're fishing or just cruising around the lake. I always like the 4th of July, the barbecues, the fireworks. It's just a great event and, uh, and also a great time of year for fishing. Now here at Angling Buzz, we focus a lot on hardcore tactics for catching fish, but today's show, we're taking a little bit different shift. The title of the show is Fishing Made Easy. We're gonna share with you some insight and tactics to simply catch bass, panfish, walleye, catfish, and even musky. Today's guest is Lake Vermilion Guide Angling Buzz contributor, Billy Rosser. Now, Billy, you spent a lot of time out on the water. You're fishing with novice anglers, new people, that have maybe never even fished before, what do you do to ensure they have a great time out on the water? That's a great question, Troy. These bluebird days like this, hot weather, you know, the whole goal is to keep the rods bent. And we're fortunate on Lake Vermilion, a great multi-species lake. We got a lot of smallmouth on that east end, up on the rocks. On the west end more, we got more largemouth, some really fertile bays with really good weeds and we can focus in some northern pike. John just caught this nice one here. Well, foremost, Troy, is, you know, everybody wants to catch a walleye on Lake Vermilion. You know, I try to get them out there early and I'll go try to pull a rig on some kind of transition to try to get them a nice four or five pound walleye for that nice walleye picture of Lake Vermilion. And then get out in the evening. Those last couple hours are magic time on Vermilion at 7 to 9.30. This time of year, it stays a little lighter up here. So that's really what I would focus on. Now, last time I was up in Lake Vermilion, it was two seasons ago during the summer, uh, kind of fishing a mixed bag for walleye, smallmouth, and even throwing for muskie. Now, I know you primarily focus on walleye, but in the heat of the summertime and depending on uh, current weather conditions, how do you adjust and target other fish species? Yeah, most, most of my clients, Troy, they just want action. You know, they, they, they don't get to spend a lot of time on the water. And so, you know, if it's, it's really tough to walleye stuff on this up front with them and say, hey, let's go get the rods bent and uh, everybody's on board with that. And we'll go, you know, I'll teach them how to throw some plastics, you know, Ned Rig or Wacky style fishing for the bass. And then we might go burn some spinner baits over some nice six to eight foot weed flats for some northern pike. And uh, usually the fish are pretty cooperative on Vermilion doing that stuff. And uh, it's all about, you know, that action, keeping everybody involved. Now. Billy, what would be some key tactics that you could identify for any angler that just wants to get a bite? For the walleye, it's really hard to beat a live bait rig on Lake Vermilion. A four foot leader, you know, a nice VMC wide gap hook in that bead. I like using a 3 8 slip sinker, go fish a transition area, you know, watch electronics. You can usually go, you know, catch a nice walleye that way. That is really key to catch a walleye on Vermilion most of the time. Uh, you want to switch gears off of that, uh, go smallmouth bass fishing, Ned Rig, wacky style is pretty hard to beat. With a largemouth, you know, a buzz bait, spinner bait, or a topwater will get you in some largemouth bass action. And northern pike, too, it's pretty hard not to catch one in six to eight feet. Cabbage flats burning a spinner bait. That should uh, keep everybody happy. Now, what about muskie? Lake Vermilion, it's a world-class muskie fishery. Do you have any tips for uh, easy muskie fishing? <laughs> Troy, I wish I could say oh, I God. do, but muskie, you know, it's, uh, you gotta put a lot into it sometimes, but you do have some windows. It's like magic out there. You know, you get a moon set, moon rise, sunset. You know, the sunrise are great times. Those are nice windows, but then if Ma Nature is kind to you, she throws one of those fronts in there in July with storms rolling through. Man, be on the water, you know, just be safe out there, but be on the water because those windows are so important on Vermilion and any other lake. Well, Billy, thank you for taking some time out to share some strategies for fishing Lake Vermilion. And an important thing to know is these tips and tactics that Billy talked about, they apply to virtually any body of water across the upper Midwest. Well, stay with us after the short commercial break. We got more angling buzz.
Want to save even more at Fleet Farm? Well, now you can with Fleet Rewards. It's free to sign up and there's no credit card required. Using Fleet Rewards is easy. Earn points every time you shop. Plus, get exclusive member offers, birthday and anniversary perks, free tire rotations, and more. Download the Fleet Farm app or create an account at fleetfarm.com slash rewards to start earning points today. Fleet Farm, proudly serving the Midwest since 1955. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection. With an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings, Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. Lake Vermilion. Explore. Relax. Reconnect. Minnesota's most beautiful lake. Oh. Get hooked on our trophy wallet. That's a beauty. Bass. This is my favorite fish. Musky fish. That's a beauty there. Things to do, you'll never get bored. Rooms with a view, we got them. Lake Vermilion. Four seasons of fun. Welcome back to Angling Buzz. Up next is our Timely Topics feature. And today, the theme of the show is fishing made easy. Well, a lot of times it doesn't get any easier than the Ned Rig. You know, over the last number of years, there's been a really dramatic change in bass fishing. And what I'm talking about is finesse fishing. And you see this uh, across the entire country, no matter where you go. Today, Troy and I are gonna talk about fin finesse techniques and effectiveness, but focus on one extraordinarily simple technique, and it's known as the Ned Rig. You know, when you really look at the technique, it seems so extraordinarily simplistic. A very lightweight mushroom head jig and a really small, unobtrusive stick worm. It's an amazing tool when you look at it, this uh, Ned Rig, it's so simple, wow. When you really look at it, it really doesn't look like much, but really there's some really key reasons why this bait is so effective. Number one, that lightweight head, so it slows the drop speed. Number two, the stick worm, it's really sort of unobtrusive, but it just sits in the bottom and it doesn't look like much, but when you take it and you pull this bait along the bottom, what happens, it, it actually rolls the tail up and it's just like waggling like this. It's really appealing to a lot of different species of fish, no question about it. When you look at so many different techniques where you got a lot of attraction and triggering, this is the reverse. Very soft and subtle. Beautiful fish. But that's the simplicity of this technique. The thing is, what you're doing so much of the time, you're throwing out the bait. One of the best things to do with it is do nothing. That's the strength of the Ned Rig. It's unbelievable. You know, you don't move it around a real lot. The less you do, the more fish you'll catch. We'll get her back in the water. It's probably one of the best baits to uh, teach anglers and new anglers on, uh, to really garner confidence uh, fishing for bass. I'm not kidding you. I mean, this thing is just like, it's a, it's a bass fishing machine. You might ask, well, well, where do you fish it at? You know what my answer would be? Anywhere. Deep weeds, shallow weeds, rocks, sand flats. And the biggest thing, like some of the best things in life, simple is better. Look at this here. Boy, there, there's a real one. I think we're on the mega school of big boys. No, ooh, there's, that's a biggie. And Troy has a comparable smallmouth on. Look at the size yeah. of these things. Now, th oh, now that's that what out. you're talking about. It's sort of amazing yeah. how effective Ned fishing can be, no question about it. You can't believe the number of big smallmouth bass, largemouth and spotted bass have been yeah. caught with this little bait across North America over the last couple of years. You can get these whoppers back. Yeah, We're on the back. school, we yeah. gotta make another cast. There's more yeah. of them. <laughs> let's get them back. 
Ned rigs, they're a real simple and effective way to catch largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and even walleye. We'll stay with us after this short commercial break. We got our buzz bite reports. Tired of doing this? Get a can of this and spend more time doing this. Fuel treatment helps marine engines start easier, run smoother, and last longer. Seafoam! Marine Pro, new from the makers of Seafoam. Marine Pro is a complete marine fuel system treatment. Just pour it in. Fast starts and smooth running power have never been this easy. Available now at Fleet Farm. Customer first. That's their mission at Don DeLinger Auto. It's not just about the sale, it's about giving you peace of mind for as long as you own that vehicle. Don DeLinger is home to the lifetime powertrain warranty for new and pre-owned vehicles, plus 10 years of roadside assistance. They have an incredible variety of the most popular vehicles and offer pickup and drop off for service. Stop in to experience the Don DeLinger difference today. Northland tackles in the premium hardbait game with the Rumble Crankbait Series. Available in 15 custom artisan colors. All Northland Rumble Series baits are handmade with a unique heat compression molding process that ensures unmatched durability and baits that run true on the troll and cast farther than the competition. You'll discover that walleyes and other species find their unique role in actions simply irresistible. You're going to want to up your game with these new cranks. Fishing is definitely better with balsa. Like many of you, I've had back issues. From the pounding waves of Lake Erie. To over 30 years of competitive angling. And a lifetime on the water, but not anymore. Smooth moves change the game. It's a must have for me and my clients. It's like my boat is floating on air. They're easy to install. Fully adjustable. It makes a day on the water a whole lot more comfortable. Smooth your ride with smooth moves. Welcome back to Angling Buzz. It's time for this week's Buzz Bite Reports. To kick it off, we're going to join Jeff Evans in northern Wisconsin. Hey everybody, uh, just a fantastic week we've had. Uh, after that cold front early in the week, water temperatures cooled down uh, into the high 60s on a lot of lakes around Hayward. And uh, now we've kind of had a warm up with some south winds. Water temperatures are, are pretty consistent in the, in the low 70s and just a phenomenal week of walleye fishing. Uh, catching a lot of fish now out on rock piles, rock humps and rocky points. Um, in 20 to 25 feet of water using slip bobbers and leeches. So they've moved off those weed lines and now they've, they're kind of relating to rocks. Uh, Smallmouth bass, we're finding them all over. Um, we're finding them up in the five and six foot rock areas, but also today we got some really nice fish out in around 20 feet of water out on a rock reef. Um, if you're fishing them shallow, uh, try using Ned rigs and Nico rigs. If you're out deep, uh, those, those two approaches will still work with just a little heavier weights. Also, don't forget to float a slip bobber and a leech through them as well. Uh, that works also. Um, Shawamigan Bay, I haven't been out there in a while. I've heard they've been getting some walleyes out in the deeper weeds trolling crawler harnesses and crankbaits in like 12 to 15 feet of water. I haven't been out on the South Shore Lake Superior yet either. I heard that's been a little bit hit and miss on the walleye fishing. But with this nice stable weather we have moving in, uh, it should get better. Again, fishing's been just fantastic. Lots of stuff to catch and uh, catch a bunch of fish. Thanks, Jeff. Now let's join Garrett Sphere in Otter Tail County, Minnesota. We're out here today and we're crappie fishing. A lot of people give up on these fish after the spring reel that they go. But um, some of my favorite crappie fishing is midsummer like this. And these fish, once they kind of recover from the spawn and you get past that post spawn mode and they set up on these deep, uh, deep weeds, you can troll for these fish. What we're doing today is that's just a little Bobby Garland uh, shad bait and then a small jig head. And we're cruising around on top of the cabbage weeds here. And it seems like this point is really good today. I'm gonna throw that out so I can keep fishing when I'm talking here. And uh, we've got about seven feet here on top of the weeds and we're just trolling up and down this point. They seem to be kind of kind of stuck on this point and uh, we're, we're beating them up pretty good. Also catching some walleyes out here. 
Um, I'm kind of surprised the number of walleyes that are in these shallow weeds right now. So that's something to check out as well if you can find you know, cabbage that comes up and you got seven, eight feet on top of the cabbage. There's all kinds of fish in there, pike, perch, walleyes. Um, we went bass fishing and did a lot of that this week. We kind of caught them on everything. They're set up on those deep weed edges. I would, I would really focus on the outside weed edge if you're wanting to fish bass right now. Um, walleyes, we did some walleyes here the other day and uh, we did really good on, on weed edges as well. We were, we were fishing weed walleyes um, along a main lake island some heavy coontail we did really good and um, bluegills they're kind of just done with the spawn right now but the post spawn bite is actually still pretty good uh, finding those fish kind of in that 11 12 14 you know to 14 foot range um, so yeah really focus on those deep weed edges if you're getting out and uh, good luck we'll see you on the lake thanks Garrett now let's head over to Leech Lake with the Leisure Outdoor Boys Hey there, Jason Freed with Leisure Outdoor Adventures with your Leech Lake Angling Buzz Report for this week. It's midsummer, which means the bugs are hatching or getting close to being done. And for a lot of times, that means you gotta catch walleyes using reaction baits, jigging wraps, crankbaits, pulling spinners, but the name of the game is get the reaction bite to catch walleyes right now on Leech Lake. Get out on the basins, find the transition areas where you have rock to mud, 20 to 28 feet of water seems to be the ticket. But you gotta move fast, you gotta cover ground, crawlers, leeches, artificials, but like I said, get the reaction bite. Muskies, look to the main lake. They're gonna start moving onto the rocks. Guys are still catching them trolling as well, but some of the weed beds and the rocks are gonna be where you find muskies. And the smallmouth fishing and the largemouth fishing is going really, really well on Leech Lake right now. Ned rigs, top waters, and get in the slop and catching largemouth bass. That's your buzz report for Leech Lake, come on up. Now let's head north to Lake Vermilion with Billy Rosner. As we head into July, the muskies are pretty much set up out on your reefs, your rocky points, your deeper weed lines, and then don't forget that open basin stuff. If you can find the tulipies, you're going to find muskies. You can cast those areas out in that open water, or you can long line troll them or pull boards with big crankbaits to find the muskies. The smallmouth bass bite, you find some steep breaks with some down timber and trees. You're going to find smallmouth. You can wacky them, ned rig them or throw smaller crankbaits too. That'll get you into some smallie action. Don't forget your rocks off the reefs also for your smallies. The walleye bite, that's kind of all over the place. It kind of changes daily here up here, but uh, live bait rigs with crawlers is working. Uh, think that 18 to 24 feet, all your transition stuff really comes into play now. And that'll get you some walleye action. And also don't forget the lead core bite, trolling like some number five or number seven chad wraps will get you into some walleyes. And also, if you're not, you know, the, if you can't get those walleyes going on that live bait stuff, try your jigging wraps and hair jigs, and often you're going to pull the nicer fish out of those schools with the jigging wraps and hair jigs. Have a great week, and most of all, have fun out there. Thanks, Billy. Now let's head over to North Dakota with Jason Mitchell. We've been doing a lot of trolling, and one of my favorite patterns that works so well right now is basically be going to some of these shallow bays with these big weed flats that are, say, three to seven feet of water. They really get weed choked right now. These weeds are starting to grow up and they're starting to reach the surface and they're becoming more difficult to fish. And what I've been doing is just going in these bays and just looking for just a trough or a bowl in that bay that's maybe seven, eight, nine feet of water where those weeds stop. And those bowls that are in the middle of these weed flats or the middle of these bays just load up with walleyes this time of year. And so we've been trolling, basically just trolling a circle around these bowls. And I'll tell you what, the Salmo Hornet, about 25 to 40 feet behind the boat in seven, eight, nine feet of water has been just tearing it up. And uh, on the sunny days, gold chrome has been working a lot better. On some of the cloudier days, I've been using some fire tiger patterns, but uh, just a prominent pattern that catches a lot of nice fish right now. Looking for the perfect fishing vacation? Leech Lake, Minnesota. There's over 112,000 acres of water to explore with fantastic walleye, bass, pike, panfish, and trophy muskies. The fishing opportunities are endless. Leech Lake has it all with over 30 resorts, lodges, campgrounds, and hotels line its pristine shores. Plan your trip. It's Minnesota's original up north vacation destination. 
In 2020, Minnesota watercraft inspectors found that 97% of boaters were doing their best to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. In short, drain plugs were removed. No standing water was inside the boat and no zebra mussels or plants were found on the boat or trailer. Thanks for following these simple habit forming rules. Clean aquatic plants and animals from boats, trailers and equipment. Drain all water from motors and live wells. Remove all boat plugs and dispose of unused bait in the trash. Simple, fast, and easy. This automatic launching and loading system on BoatToTrailer.com makes unloading and loading your boat a breeze on both roller or bunk trailer configurations. This system is a simple one bolt install. No more hanging over the boat, no more cranking in the boat, and no more wet feet. Speed your boat ramp time by visiting BoatToTrailer.com. And now it's time for our cool products brought to you by Fleet Farm. Today's show, we're talking about fishing made easy. And we're going to start out with some line from Suffolk. This is the Pro Mix Braid Series. And now this low vis green, this has a great color retention. So this braid will not lose its color over time. This is great for uh, your main line. And then when you're bass fishing, walleye fishing, trout fishing, you can use monofilament or fluorocarbon leader. This is a great value and performance castability. Durability, the Suffix Pro Mix Braid. And next from Bubba Blade, these are the small shears. Now these are very durable shears. You got a non-slip grip. You have some attachments on the back of this. You have a micro serrated blade on this that can cut very small diameter line, whether it's fluorocarbon, monofilament, or braid, the small shears from Bubba Blade. And next from Northland Tackle, the Mimic Minnow Limber Leech. Now this is basically a catch anything lure. Uh, just cast this out, slowly crawl it across the bottom. You can fish this around rocks, sand, gravel, light weeds, no wrong way to fish it and catch just about anything that swims. The Mimic Minnow Limber Leech from Northland Tackle. Also from Northland Tackle, the Rippin' Minnow. Now this has great darting and gliding action for snap jigging. You see it has a couple soft plastic uh, tail replacements or body replacements rather with this. So you get that great, like I said, darting and gliding action, snap jigging for walleye. This is absolutely awesome. The Rippin' Minnow from Northland Tackle. And next from Storm Lures, the 360 GT Search Bait Shad. And this is great for pike, walleye and bass, a couple different sizes available. You have a couple different body replacements on here. Very durable plastic, especially if you, you hook into a few of those toothy critters, they're not, gonna, they're not gonna tear this. There's a little rattle inside the head. This has great side to side action, both in the body of it and the tail. This is a great all around fishing lure. Just cast it out and reel it back in. The 360 GT Search Bait Shad from Storm Lures. And up next, the kids casters. This is to teach children how to cast and reel safely. You can see that there's soft plastic, little plastic hooks here in the tackle box. This is a tangle-free telescopic fishing pole. There's a lot of different uh, combo and options available at your local Fleet Farm store. This just happens to be one of them from kids casters. And next to my front and left here, this is the automatic boat launching and loading system available at boat to trailer Dot com. A couple different color options here, black and zinc. To launch your boat, you just pull that lever, and then when you come back up, the boat clicks into place right here very easily. This fits a wide variety of, uh, of trailers and boats. Just a great automatic boat launching and loading system available at BoatToTrailer.com. And to my left here, this is the Lakes and Rivers Tackle Bag. I'll open the top and it fits four of these. These are Plano size 3750 tackle boxes. It has pockets on the front, the back, on both sides, a shoulder strap. And this is great whether you're in a boat, you're kayak fishing or shore fishing, the Lakes and Rivers Tackle Bag. And up next, the Blackfish Eclipse Performance Hoodie. This is a nice, lightweight, comfortable hoodie, four-way stretch on the fabric. You have a nice little pocket up on the front, a shoulder pocket on here. The whole Blackfish apparel line is just incredible. And you can see you can adjust the hoodie right here. You got a nice quarter zip on the front of it. This is just one of the options available from Blackfish. And lastly, the Smooth Moves Air. This supports up to 350 pounds of weight. It swivels 360 degrees, easily insoles in nearly every boat 
And then uh, just with a simple 12 volt outlet, you can change the tension with a push of a button, the smooth moves air. Well, be sure to stop by your local Fleet Farm store, and you can always shop online anytime at fleetfarm.com. And right now it's time for our technique of the week. You know, plastics with jigs, dynamite combination. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Uh, you're gonna fish jigs and plastics if you're gonna do any kind of multi-species angling, whether it be crappies, whether it be walleyes. And in this case, we've got some crappie plastics, which are really common, but uh, pre-rigs are starting to dominate the market. That's a good thing, right? People can just grab those. They're go and throw type situations where you have a jig and plastic all ready to go. But what if you want to buy some bulk plastics like these impulse baits and you want to rig it up yourself? Well, I'm going to show you on just the simplest of all plastics, a curly tail grub, how to rig it properly. It's somewhat of a lost art, but uh, it's actually pretty simple. If you want to make sure that this thing's rigged properly, the first thing you need to do is make sure the curly tail is down. If you rig it with the hook, and the curly tail both up at the same time, it increases the chance that that tail is gonna come up and hook like that and kill the action of your plastic, which you need. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that that curl is turned down. From there, you need to look along the top rib of the bait and almost all plastics are gonna have a really pronounced connection point, a rib. You're gonna end up seeing exactly where that hook and hook shank needs to line up. So what you can do is, like on this bait, make sure you hit it in the center, push your way through, and make sure you come out right where that rib is. And make sure you push it down the length of the shank, seat it up towards the top, give it a little pull, and make sure it sits very naturally on that jig shank, just like that. So there you have it, a perfectly rigged jig, and curly tail grub, ready to go out and do you some damage out on the lake. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and for even more information, tips, tactics, buzz bite reports, be sure to check us out at anglingbuzz.com. And next week's show, we're going to be talking about weed fishing for a lot of different fish species. And as always on Angling Buzz, we want to help remind you to stop the spread of aquatic invasive species anytime you leave any body of water. Remember, clean, drain, dry. And also be sure to enter our sweepstakes online. You can win a great weekend up at Lake Vermilion, a great stay at one of the fantastic resorts up there, a fishing trip for two days on the water, guided fishing with myself, as well as a $500 gift card for Fleet Farm and a $500 Rapala Tackle Pack. Thank you for joining us this week. I'm Troy Linder, and we'll see you next time. This week's Buzz Bite Report. Tony Road. Bray Rolston. Lee Talkin here. Brad Durick up here on the Red River. Muskegon River. Leech Lake. Double Lake. Beautiful Lake Vermilion. Black. Top water's been really, really fun. Go to the plastics. Bass like this. A lot of wallies like that. Giant bluegills. Press report from Lake of the Woods. Grand Traverse Bay. Alexandria, Minnesota. Get out, get fishing, have fun, rock and roll. Take care.